In this video, I will show you exactly how to solve the problem of ad account disabled. We noticed some unusual activity, so we have disabled your ad account. Verify your account to run ads again. This problem normally happens because Facebook has suspected that there is an unusual activity such as one, your account is logged in in a location you don't usually log in and trying to run an advert and making payment in a new location you don't usually log in. That is one of the reasons why this problem happens. The second reason why it happens is that you are using a debit card that the, uh, the currency is different from your country of location. So for example, you are living in a country like um, USA and your debit card is from Nigeria or Ghana or South Africa or India or UK. They will tell you that they have noticed some suspicious activity. That is another reason why you will have this problem. Yes, the third reason why you may have this related problem is you are living in that country and probably um, your other account is also issued probably in that country or in a different country. But the most important thing is the currency are not the same. The, your other account currency and the currency on the uh, your, your bank are not the same. So for example, your other account currency is in US dollars but the currency on your account is maybe Indian rupees. You see, it's not even about it being in the same, uh, not being in the same country per se, but here is about different currencies. So there are several factors that attribute to it. So how do you solve it when you get this problem? So when they do that, they will normally disable your ad account. You cannot create advert, you can't do anything, and then they will just blur you out. So this is the way to solve it. Then you click on contact support. Someone may also ask, how do you even get to this place? You log into your Facebook, come to your left-hand corner, and then click on Ad Manager. Then when you click on Ad Manager, it will take you to the Ad Manager. You come here, then you come and click on Billing and Payment. Then um, it will bring you to the Billing and Payment. So currently, as I speak, I'm in Billing and Payment. So you click on Contact Support. Then from there, it will open and then ask you to describe whatever the problem is. In, and include a bank statement. So you write your bank, your description and describe whatever caused the problem. So normally you will probably know what happened. So if you know the reason why it happened, you just copy it and write it and then come and pay. So here I said that my uh, client account was hacked and then the hacker tried to run, run several ad campaigns with and spend a lot of money higher than what my client normally spend. Example, the, the hacker was spending, he, he scheduled the advert with uh, 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 a daily budget of hundred thousand dollars per day. Can you imagine that hundred thousand dollars per day? My client doesn't even spend more than twenty dollars per day, and the the hacker was trying to spend hundred thousand dollars per day. And so Facebook noticed that no, 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 this one is definitely not from the usual owner of the account. It is something different. Then they disable the account because. They even log into the account instantly, not up to uh, uh, an hour, and started running the advert. So you have to state your facts well, let them know what happened. Then you attach, let them know that you have attached a screenshot, the bank statement. The bank statement indicate the detailed transactions, indicating the debit card that was used to do the payment. So for example, when you come, normally the debit card will show here. Make sure that the debit card that is shown here, you have that debit card on your... um. Your, your bank your bank statement indicating that deductions or payment were made through that. Then after that, you submit. When you submit or request a review, they will review it and they will get back to you normally within uh, 48 hours or two business days. Sometimes it may take longer than that. So someone may ask, so how do you know if they have solved it or if they respond? So you come to your Facebook profile, click on the top right-hand corner, then you go to help and support. From help and support, you go to support inbox. From support inbox, you check if they will, if you see something like this, they said you had a billing issue, they will respond. Then when they respond, whatever they say, you can so something like thanks for contacting us to be able to advertise this is please verify the payment method by this, this. Is. So yes, they will send you a message indicating whatever it is. This is a different problem. This is not the same problem we are talking about. This one was about verification. But I'm just trying to let you know that with the problem we are looking at or the problem we are talking about, when you um, check the support inbox, you'll be able to get a response. If you check the support inbox and you still don't get a response, 
there are two things I will advise you to do. One, you can contact us by checking in the WhatsApp or Telegram link in the description and we will help you out. That's one of the options. Two, you can check the link above and follow it to contact Facebook live chat support so that you get a, a live chat support agent to help you. Or you can check in the description. I will leave the link to that video in the description so that you also be able to follow the link and go and watch the video on how to contact Facebook live chat support. I believe when you follow these procedures, you will be able to reinstate your disabled um, advertising account because of sus suspicious activity. Remember to subscribe to this channel, turn on the notification bell and like this video for other powerful videos like this again. Once again, see you in the next video.